Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to the tiny little town of Lathland. In today's episode, our major goal really is to finally get ourselves some troops. We want archers, or we want the standard footmen. Essentially, we just want something that can fight off the Vikings. Now, sadly, the dragons themselves, we are going to still have to rely on the ballista towers, because they're the only thing really efficient against them, but for everything else... I want to be able to destroy with soldiers. Now, before we get started with everything, there is a few things I need to address. First of all, because of the autosave feature, I have actually skipped ahead like one year, so I have started building things over here. We have a brand new cottage, we have this tiny little hovel hiding there in the corner, a brand new granary, we have our very first windmill, which is increasing the output of all of these farms next to it by three, which is... Better than I thought it was, though it turns out that yes, windmills do not stack. If you put one here, this one here will not receive three times two. So that's how it's going to be. Although I do want most of my farmland to most likely be over here. The reason is, eventually the settlements, I want them to be for pretty much everything except for food production. Maybe I'll have one major farm outpost. I'm not quite sure how I want to do it, but I don't particularly like this mix of all of our housing and then our farmland as well. Uh, what else have I done? Not really much else. We have our first manor, and we have a small hovel. That's pretty much all the new expansion, which I messed up and recorded off camera. Back in the city itself, I finally started to name things. So our first city is the Lath Lair. Tempted to call it Lath's Lair, but either way, the Lath Lair currently. We have Tubbs Books, named after a cat, which is sadly no longer with us, in honour of him. We have the Glorious Household, we have Cornflakes, we have the Lumber General's House, we have Breeze Home, we have the Battered Buckler, we have Derp 1, Derp Jr., because these two were built facing each other rather than facing the road, which is absolutely fine! Until they try and open their doors at the same time. Over here we have the suborbital manor, because we didn't have a manor at the time. I will be keeping that, because it makes me laugh. We have Nurgle's garden over here. We weirdly have a piece of road someone named, as Edgy McEdgerson. And then we have a perfectly ordinary house. Nothing suspicious there at all. Oh yeah, and our first blister tower is now up and running, just in time for the next dragon attack. Going to increase how many forests I have, and definitely increase how many charcoal makers we have, because we are getting low on charcoal constantly. And here's a proper stockpile, finally. So, where are our first outposts going to go? Honestly, I think I just need this iron. It's in a really awkward place, defended by wolves, but without iron, I can't make armaments, and without armaments, I can't make soldiers. So, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Now, the problem is, I'm not sure how to remove these wolves without soldiers. I guess just building an archery tower and shooting them down. The little old dragon is returning. I really doubt our ballista tower will be able to kill this fellow, but we shall see. Oh, he's hit by the first bolt. That was that huge chunk of health just being removed. Okay, the new cottage is on fire, so is the new hovel. Wow, the turning speed of the ballista tower is terrible. Yeah, we definitely need more of them. But still, managed to get rid of it nice and quickly, and by the looks of things, nothing was consumed by the flames. Not too bad. They'll be sad for a while because of the dragon attack, but not a big deal. Now, something to mention, which I didn't actually know, so thank you for all the comments with this, is that now, soldiers actually gain skill the longer they're in their jobs. The problem is, I can't really afford to keep them in their jobs currently, but the end goal then is to be able to have all of our ballista operators and archers permanently in those jobs as we get more money and more people. So we have to be really efficient with it. Now, I am going to have soldiers, so we don't really need that many archer towers. So hopefully it'll be cheaper because we only have ballista towers. We shall see soon enough. The Vikings invaded, I wasn't paying attention, and they just kind of died. Um, yep, that is pretty much that. We lost nothing. And the Vikings were destroyed. Excellent. So right now, I can tax enough to keep our soldiers being employed, which is cool. Now, I do need to move a new tower over here to deal with the next set of wolves. The first set has already been removed. I don't get much back, do I? If I demolish this, I don't really get much back. So I'm just going to remove you from your job since I'm not really needing that right now. And we shall continue. Yay, we're getting loads of extra food. Fantastic. And we can now put down our brand new tavern. So 
So there's the entrance. I mean, that's pretty. It's beer gardens right on the water's edge. Popping down a new cottage there, because what I'm going to do is remove this stockpile. And I would like to place it instead, right nearby, just here. Since then it's all out of the way. And then I would like to connect everything back up. Though saying that, this might be just enough space. Uh, let's have a quick look see. Yeah, for the archer school? Oh my god, it is. Um, I did not need to remove that then. I didn't even think about that. Where's the actual entrance to this thing? Oh, it's there. Okay, so... Yeah, so there's the entrance. And yes, I know I'm building all this infertile land, but again, I want my farms outside of the territory anyway. That's pretty cool. You've kind of got to go the long way around to get there, but... I'll just, pop, I'll just pop a road there as well. There's no actual entrance there, but I think it'll look nice. Yeah, then everything's all... All of our main buildings are in this little rectangle here. Yeah, I do like that. I like that a lot. Oh, dealing with the rest of the wolves. And they're gone. Fantastic. So with that, let's clear all this. And let's build our first outpost so we can start collecting some iron. So we need the iron mine, then we need the blacksmith. The blacksmith produces tools and armaments. Um, armaments are used for the soldiers, tools will upgrade certain jobs, like I know for a fact that the iron mine itself, if they grab tools, mine iron faster. What I'd really like though, yeah, is the main dock. Oh, we can put that right there! Oh, that's perfect! Yeah, um, or maybe over here. Oh, that'd be nice. Actually, that would look cooler in my opinion since it's a bit further away from all this. And we'll just lose one farm and just make a road. So this will allow us to have merchant ships. And merchant ships are fantastic because you can buy things like tools. Ah, sorry, I still just don't have enough gold right now to keep everyone employed. Okay, that'll get cleared out over time. Should I build a manor here? That'd be nice. Ooh, I've just had an idea. What we could do, now we're going to need this soon, is we are going to need the caretaker, the cemetery caretaker. How about if we put it over here, like right in this little shady nook? The little place of rest, and then we never remove these rocks. You know, I really like that. It seems both respectful and a nice way to use up this space. Like that. Don't need to do it now, though. So for now, pause. I just wanted to actually put it down so I know I could fit it there. Oh, well. Yep, there we go. It's still being cleared nice and quickly. That's where the iron mine will go. For now, I probably won't defend it. Uh, no, let's start building up the um, outpost straight away. Now, the easiest way would be a really boring and just build it like this. That might be what I do. This may be a really boring looking outpost compared with the rest I build in the future, but I do really need the iron and that's an easy way to build it. Okay, so what are we actually going to sell? So you can sell things in the dock. Um, I think I'm going to... say pretty much no to everything except for wood. Because we can always... Build more foresters, it's quite an easy resource to get, and we're going to have loads. In fact, you know what? Let's go even further with that. Let's go for 400 wood there. 400 timber to sell. Hopefully we'll get a merchant soon, so we can get some tools earlier than we otherwise would. We really need to start building with stone roads soon. Ooh, that's annoying. Um, you know what? That's where the wolves were, so it's like a trophy. <laughs> what a weird way to build the road. Sure. 
Iron Mine goes there. Stockpile goes next to it. And I probably don't want to go further than here, because that way I can just build up like that. I'm mostly building the Archer Towers just for looks, honestly. I'll probably turn them off most of the time. But they're there just to deal with the wolves as well. A tiny little first outpost is underway. This is going to be a very sad place to live, mostly because that iron mine is going to make everyone upset. But, hopefully, it will be efficient. So let's see, how big is the blacksmith? I really should check this first. Okay, it's a 2x2. Two two. I actually thought it was a 1x2, so it's already a little bit bigger than I expected. Oh uh, yeah, just go there. Then we put down a well, probably next to it. I'm just trying to think of what I need here. So, for our people, we are definitely going to need a market. So, for those who don't know, how a market works is essentially it takes resources from other storages and puts it there available for the heads of households of all the different cottages and hovels and everything so that they don't have to run miles to get food. Essentially, it means the people here don't have to go all the way into the capital to grab a loaf of bread, which is pretty nice. I would like a tavern here. I've only just built a new tavern, but I think the people here deserve some happiness, and that's going to come in the form of alcohol. I'm also thinking that a clinic would be good. I haven't built one in a while, and um, having one here would help make everything a bit more resistant to the plague. Not too sure. Okay, if we put a well here, that means we still have access to the door. Obviously, we have access to the door anyway, as long as we're attached to the road, but this is just more in terms of the looks of things. And then we could build the clinic in this little corner here. Yeah, so that's definitely the door. I've seen them go in and out now, and also there's the stairs. Not the best view, but there we go. So we have the clinic to keep our workers healthy. We have the tavern to keep our workers drunk. And we have a merchant to keep me happy. Hello, merchant. I would love your tools. Do you have tools? You have, to you have loads of tools. No, that's iron. Tools? Tools. Okay, let's sell the wood we have then first. There we are, there's all your timber. Ooh, we can buy loads. Okay, I'm gonna buy 30 tools straight away. And I'm gonna buy 10 armaments if I can. I'll buy all 11. Fantastic. And I'll buy some fish. We do need to start fishing as well soon to increase the happiness of our people and our health. Okay, there's everything. So currently we're out of gold, but we are still taxing heavily, so that's fine. We'll get our gold back very, very soon. Okay, that is looking good. Thank you, merchant. Okay, one thing I do want to do, though, is with the tools, um, I want to change who can use it. So right now, foresters and quarries, no. Basically, I only want the mine to use tools, and that will increase the speed it collects iron. The reason why I want to stockpile them is because with the tools, what we can do, once you have the gold, is start removing these unusable stone sections. Which we have lots of in pretty much everywhere I want to do anything. Also, I need to put down our next ballista tower before the next invasion. It looks like the dragon and the viking are going to attack at the exact same time. Not exactly what I wanted to see. I'm tempted to just put a non-permanent ballista tower down here, just so we have it. Maybe even one over here. We need to make sure this is safe. This is where the Vikings end up, because they want the treasury and the granary and such. So, no, we'll just continue to build here. We should be done before the Vikings get here. Cleared our first bit of stone. So now we can have the second iron mine. Which means our blacksmith can produce everything. Uh, right now, just focus on armaments. I really, really, really want our soldiers as soon as possible. Ooh, a plague! Okay, looks like our plague doctors are already visiting the ill. There they are. They're creepy little masks. Hey, this one has had a big burp. I think, like, two died. Hard to say. One have died. 
Also, we can build our um, church soon. I think I know exactly where I want it. I want it here. It's close to the cemetery. It's a nice place. I think it'll get most of the main village, just not this section over here. Eventually, this farmland's going to be moved out, so this is going to be a manor and a cottage and such. No, it'll be two manors, and then probably just a um, cottage. So what I need, then, is a single pier. And you know what? I am going to build an emergency ballista anyway. The Vikings like to try and go through here, so... I think we'll be okay. The dead. Where's our cemetery workers? Oh, I didn't... Oh, I forgot to finish building it. Yeah, people are unhappy, oddly enough, walking over the corpse of their comrade. Okay, the Vikings are invading. First of all, no ogres. Wow, they've been really easy on us lately. When did the ogre start arriving? And here's the single dragon. The dragon's actually the one I'm a lot more worried about, just because it can attack much anywhere, whereas the Vikings are going for a very specific place, which we have defended quite well. The dragon could attack over here with the archery towers, which will do absolutely nothing to him. Ooh, the Ballista Towers are doing loads of damage to the dragon. They'll be forced away very soon. Unless... Yes! Take that, you flamey bugger. Plop. plop. My voice just cracked when I tried to say plop them. Yeah, I've got a bit of a bad throat at the moment, which is not helping out things at all. Here are the Vikings. There's three, apparently? Oh, there's a two before. Oh, because I split up from their um, boat. Well, they're going to make it out, but yeah, no real damage done. A few peasants were killed by the dragon, sadly, just because it did burn things. We do now at least have the cemetery caretakers, so we are filling up our cemetery. Which is a good thing. Either way, we can help it down our church. Which will bring a lot of happiness to that area. Yeah, really, really need to be able to just leave our archers in their jobs because they were so weak of them. But soon, we'll have archers anyway. Ooh, yes we will. Okay, we just need, um... Military training to go up a little bit. And soon enough, we should be able to get ourselves some new archers. Yeah, we've seen more houses as well, to be perfectly honest. But where do we build the new homes? This one's already done, so I guess, um, yeah, what's next is we should be building over there, next to the dead dragon. The dragon has been slain, so let's, oh yeah, I don't want to go over all that fertile land. To there. Gonna make this a fishing and stone village. Maybe we can make this up the rich village, I don't really know. The important thing is we can start building stuff here, some more houses and such. Also, I'm going to let our quarries now take um, tools. Hello again, merchant. Yep, I would love some more tools. I would like some fish. And that's pretty much it, sadly, which I already care about, so I'll grab both of those. You're not selling armaments currently. And I'll sell 300 pieces of timber. If I have more docks, do I get more merchants arriving? Don't know. But either way, we're about to get loads of stone. And you know what? I'm going to build a manor to begin this. Yes, yeah, so what should we do? Shall I make this part of the main village here? So this is our capital and it encompasses all of this. Or shall I split it off? Like, what I could do is split... Ooh, how about if I split it off by a farmland and then build this up? So all the farms go here and then the walls start maybe here. Yes, 
Yes, because then what we can do is eventually split this off, so then this goes to the new farmland. Even the farmland there might not be permanent. Either way, I'm going to put down our first mana. I'm like on this little crossroads. So you put a mana down there. We'll build the market right next to it. I'm assuming that actually owns the market. And we're going to build our first fishing huts because this area is rich in fish. Ooh, I didn't even look which direction I was meant to build that. Um, I guess like that, right? Yeah, it looks about right. And I guess I'll put it in the corner. Look nicer. Well, actually, we're about to get some soldiers, so maybe I won't need um, the walls and such as much anymore. As long as I build up some ballista defenses. Against the Vikings, I'm really hoping I'm just rely on soldiers very, very soon. That would be lovely if they didn't have to build these walls everywhere. The first new manor is up, so is the fishing hut, which is not fully staffed, annoyingly, before they set out. Oh, look at it go, it's adorable. That is very, very cute. Hopefully it actually produces a lot of food. He's taking five workers. Though only one tile, technically, so we'll see. We'll see when they eventually um, haul in that first catch. You know what? I don't want any wood over here, so destroy these trees. Try and get some new people into these homes as soon as possible would be great. Uh, this house won't be too happy. It's a bit too close to the quarry, but these two should be fine. Yep, they're perfectly fine. They will have wells soon enough as well. As well. Hello, merchant. Good timing. I actually need timber for once. We are now a bustling city. Wonderful. And what I've done is I've started to put down uh, more food over here. In a second, we can put down the next windmill. So now I can turn all this into housing. Oh, and we have our first archers as well. Wonderful. Now, currently, they can't actually go onto the walls because we don't have any castle stairs. But there we are. Now, the archers really shouldn't try and solo the Vikings. I don't know if the Vikings will try and kill them or not. But we're probably going to try when we can. Already making some more archers as we speak. Houses over here are finished. Oh yeah, I forgot houses get extra happiness if they're nearby the water. Oh, in that case, I don't mind building another manor next to it. I was just a little bit worried because of the quarry, but as long as I get happiness from the water, that wouldn't be too bad. Okay, the Vikings are invading. Turn on all our defenses. Okay, they have their very first ogre. Where are they going to actually land? Okay, so we're going to land like here. So you know what? Uh, make a run for it, soldiers. Thank you. Yeah, the next lot won't be ready in time. So we're just going to be a single group of archers being led by Sir Alan. Oh, no, there's wolves everywhere. Um, let's not lose our soldiers to wolves if we can. Oh, yeah, I also named this the Cloaked Grove. So one thing I forgot to mention I named. There we are, more housing being built. We're starting to build our irrigation system so that we we'll get some more food. Since it does increase the food yield from normal farms, it also means that um, barren areas like this can actually be farmed. I need some more armaments. The main thing slowing us down right now is actually charcoal, weirdly enough. So I've put down another forester and another charcoal maker. Yeah, we just... There's always, there's always a bottleneck. There's always going to be something which is going to be slowing you down. Still, though, I think things are going really well. Put down a second fishing ship. That one ship is providing 12% of the population with access to fish or pork. Obviously, this, in this case, being fish. The more variety we have, the more health we have. The more health we have, the happier our people are, but also the less effective plagues are. So, clearly, want as much of that as possible. So I think the only defense I really want around here is probably like 
a spire with a few ballista towers just to fight off dragons. That's really it. I am worried because the larger dragons are probably on their way soon. That's going to be brutal. And I'll buy some charcoal for now just to recoup some of our losses. Yeah, all the houses have charcoal. So far, I haven't seen a single house with that problem. But um, there's not enough to go around. There's not quite enough of the blacksmith as well. So just more charcoal creators. More foresters for some more timber. That should be alright. Oh yeah, and all these can be houses soon as well. Ooh, a plague has swept across the nation. Oh, the work- Oh my god, it's spreading so quickly! Oh, come on, more happy faces, please! Come on! That didn't end up too bad, actually. Probably because they're so healthy, it didn't really kill them quite as quickly, or at least didn't spread as quickly. Yeah. We well, almost made our new soldiers. There we are, a third squad of archers is now ready. Okay, I'll wait for a while now, since I do have a lot of um, side jobs I want the regular people to do. I also need more happiness. So what else can I really do to increase happiness? Um... I have the clinic there, I have the chat. Honestly, variety of food is going to be a big deal, so I think we should make our first swine herd so we can start getting some pigs. Now, if these work the way I think they work, what they do is eat wheat to produce less food. Essentially, you are sacrificing some wheat. Oh, we need a new cemetery, okay. Yeah, you are sacrificing wheat in order to generate a different type of food, but, but you are losing a little bit of food in the process. I also need to make things like bakers and such, because bakers will increase the, um, the amount of food we get from things. Okay, so how does the reservoir work then, if I find the thing? There it is. Stores water and provides irrigation, must be connected to aqueducts. Uh, so, I think I'll just connect it directly there, can't I? Yeah, should work. And that should provide extra food for all of our farms over there and make the barren tiles become less barren. Oh, actually, in that case, what I want to do, not there, I'll pop it next to it. Then I'll put a windmill here on this barren tile, because even if you can farm on a barren tile, it doesn't give any bonuses, whereas fertile and very fertile still give bonuses. And then I can put farms like that. And once the aqueduct is done, even this barren tile can be more food. Gonna need some more fruit soon. Yeah, fruit's what's already running out. Then I'll put a swine herd next to it. I don't know, we'll see. Right now our food is actually going down for the first time in ages, so we just want more bulk for the time being. Yeah, I need to start focusing on happiness as well. Would have thought you'd be happier. Are the mansion's less... Sorry, the manor's less happy by default than the... No, I think it's just a matter of there's just not as much stuff there for them. We haven't got like a town centre or anything. In fact, I know where I'm going to put the town centre. Right there. Since it's next to the quarry, I don't want um, a house there since that'll be affected negatively. Even if it will be a little bit more positive being on the shore. Because I can always just put down a manor here. Put it directly opposite. You're getting fresh water, right? Yes. Only 46 in home. Why are you more upset than this one? Oh, health! The health is an issue. Yeah, okay, yeah, we need more everything. So yeah, definitely a swine herd. Definitely should do a swine herd. Which can fit perfectly there. Especially since I'm building all the normal farms. We're going to have plenty of wheat to feed the um, pigs. Just realise how badly protected this area is. Uh, okay, let's, um, let's quickly build a couple of blisters, shall we? Could build them higher, but I want them to be built a bit faster, so go ahead. We 
We have the aqueduct now finished, sorry, the reservoir now finished, which means all these farms are getting plus one to their food yield. And over here, the orchards are getting plus four, because, you know, they take up four tiles. This one's only getting plus one, because only the corn is being affected. Yeah, the orchards seem to be affected pretty much exactly the same way farms are from things, like um, the fertility bonus and the master workers, so it makes sense. Oh, we have pigs! Look at them slide awkwardly with no animation. Aww. Oh, you're so delicious, but so sad. Okay, so carrying on. Farm. Could have a second swine herd. I think this will fit perfectly. Yeah, just need uh, the road to connect. And actually, what we can do is kind of cheese this a little bit. If we bring this road along here, which I want to do anyway. Yep, there we go. It's fertile land, but... There we are, these are our farms. The farmland connecting the two major districts. Oh no, that's still not done yet. Well, poop. Okay, yep, definitely got the, the uh, ogre again. But this time we have three sets of archers. So we should be able to deal with that pretty easily. I wonder how much the archers actually cost. Not that much, actually. Not as much as I thought they would. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, do I want to turn the ballista towers on and everything yet? I mean, we could... No. There's no chance we're dealing with all of these. So I'm afraid, yep, turn it back on. Already approaching 50% health. Here come the rest of the Vikings, let's just run ahead. Oh, we can actually hit them while we run, that's good. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to take out the ogre before it even gets to the walls. Is it an ogre or is it a giant? See, I'm just calling it an ogre because I am. I don't actually know what it's technically called. Oh. Don't the Vikings touch us? Excellent, take that! Yeah, run away! Sure, our flag looks like a cross between Magic the Gathering and the Eye of Sauron. But we're actually lovely people, it's your fault you're here. Then go like that, so annoyingly there's wolves here, but still. Can we quickly deal with the wolves, please? I'm dealing with everyone. Apparently no one wants to um, stay in our homes right now. None of happiness. Oh, did we kill all of them? We actually did? I mean, the, the archery towers helped at the very end, I think a little bit, but we pretty much dealt with it purely with our soldiers. Finally, that's happened! So happy with that. So, what, how else can we increase the happiness here? Ooh. That's cool. We can make a fountain. That requires to be connected to an aqueduct. Oh, it must be on irrigated land. Ooh. Oh, hello. We are just about in range. I'm going to pop that little fountain. That'd be cool. Okay, so remove the fountain for a second. Because I want that style. Okay, garden like that. Destroy that. Then pop down the fountain. That's going to be a lot of happiness for our people there. Plus it'll be pretty. Oh no, like one or two survived. What a shame. It wasn't complete destruction.
turn back on our quarries. I've had them off for a while now. How much fish are we collecting? 10 per year. 50? That's not much. Hopefully we can start producing a lot of meat here soon enough. So that's going to increase our happiness because everyone's going to be a bit healthier. Well, this isn't going to go well. We have one of the large dragons now attacking us. Oh my god, that was brutal. The ballista towers were ready, but that is insane. Well, the little one's dead at least. He had so many towers all hitting. That was. Yep. I think we just now need to get rid of the archer towers completely and replace them all with the ballista towers. That much is certain. Thankfully, it looks like our waterbenders provided a lot of protection there. We only lost five people. And the only really expensive thing is a couple of small farms, so... Yeah, the roads are super cheap. So we didn't really lose much there, thankfully, but... Lesson learned. Archer towers need to go. Ballista towers need to replace them. Yeah, putting them on such, such small sections doesn't really seem very effective either. But for now, we'll just pop them down, just so we have them. Eventually, all the walls will be replaced with stone, as will the roads. Thanks to our two swine herds, 56% of our population now has access to either pork or fish. Also, our farm's struggling a little bit. Sorry, our food is struggling a little bit. Purely because we haven't had workers in the um, the windmills for a while. Yeah, need to focus more on food and just the um, basic infrastructure now. There we are. Finally, we have some idle people. Because I'm not building anything for once. And building is the top priority. But also, I have loads more houses. Ooh. The Grand Hall. I think you need to actually attach that to the main building for it to upgrade in terms of looks. Something to consider for the future. We can now train some swordsmen, which we're going to do. And what else do we need to do then? Food is actually looking good again. We got um, back in the positive just then. We don't seem to be out fishing this area, so I think I'm going to put down another fishing hut. They're not producing all that much, but they're also not taking up much space. So... It's fine. I mean, we could put one here as well, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, sure. Might need some more granaries. I think it is difficult for our people to store the food they're getting. Just cleared some rock space here as well, so now we have a new hovel. We have two hovels down here. Really should have built a cottage, but it took a while for me to realise that, oh yeah, this fountain is hydrating this whole area. We, we do not need that well. So the well was removed. And we almost have our first Swordsman Battalion. Ooh, just in time for the next Viking attack. The peasants despair at their filthiness, so they need a bathhouse. Oh, wow. The bathhouse is immense. Requires connection. Oh, so not just... Yeah, this just needs to be on irrigated land. This needs to be attached directly to the system. Can it be attached at least through the aqueducts? I think it might need to be attached directly to this. I have no idea where to place this. It's massive. Whoops, it Izzy. May have uh, not noticed when the hovels was destroyed earlier. Actually, I think I do know where to place it and it's where I'm just repairing stuff. Like, somewhere here, because we can build out into the water. Yeah, there. Then we can build a new one of those next to it. Um, yeah, I'll take a look-see if we actually need to build a brand new uh, water wheel. Or if we can just attach it through the aqueducts. Actually, I might do a water wheel regardless, because I do like how they look. We can put it up there. 
So yeah, let's... Regardless, I'm going to build a water wheel, decided. So let's um, build all this up. Then we'll get ready to put down a bathhouse. But with that, though, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. Um, I've got a bit of a bad throat at the moment, a little bit low energy and loads of rubbish going on in real life at the moment, which I'm having to deal with. So I do apologise for the delay in videos in general, and I do really hope you've enjoyed this one, because this is the ultimate relaxing game for me. I'm not doing the best with min-maxing, but I don't really care either. It's just really fun to see our little city grow up so fast. Need to build some more outposts though, which is going to be the focus of the next episode. So with that, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Kingdoms and Castles is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.